Hello guys welcome back to my channel. In this video I will show you how to downgrade Mac OS Ventura to Mac OS Catalina on an unsupported Mac. The intent of this Mac OS downgrade could be that Mac OS Ventura is heavier than Mac OS Catalina, or there could also be applications that don't run perfectly on Mac OS Ventura. Just follow the steps in the video this time without skipping to successfully downgrade Mac OS Ventura to Mac OS Catalina. So before starting this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. In this video I'm using a mid-2012 MacBook Pro, so this method can be applied to other unsupported Macs. Open your favorite browser. Then go to google.com. In Google search box type earlier Mac OS version. Then hit enter. On the Google search page click the link how to download Mac OS, Apple support. Scroll down for the Mac OS download link. Here you can see various links of all Mac OS. Because we will install Mac OS Catalina, then click the Catalina 10.15 link. Then we will be directed to the App Store to download Mac OS Catalina. Click Get to download Mac OS Catalina. Now a window appears to download Mac OS Catalina. Click download to download Mac OS Catalina. Now the Mac OS Catalina download process is running and will take 1 to 2 hours depending on your internet speed. We'll be back once the download is complete. As you can see the download process is complete but Mac OS Catalina can't run on Mac OS Ventura. This is because Mac OS Catalina is too old to run on Mac OS Ventura. Click the quit button to close this warning window. And also close software update, app store, and your favorite browser window. For the results of Mac OS Catalina downloads can be seen with the finder in the Applications folder. Now open Finder again. On the top menu click Finder then select Settings. Then the Finder Settings window will appear. Now click tick on Hard Disk to show Hard Disk icon on Desktop. As you can see Hard Disk icon has appeared on Desktop. Now open Disk Utility. In the Disk Utility window click the View menu then select Show All Devices. In the left pane click on SSD Mayabook. And in the right pane click Partition. In Partition window click Plus icon. Click on the Add Partition button on the pop-up window that appears. On size set it to 16GB. Then hit enter. 
on format select Mac OS extended journaled and in name just leave it default now click on apply button then click partition then click on continue wait for the partition process to finish the partition process is complete then click the done button then close the disk utility window now open terminal in terminal type sudo then hit space now open finder then go to applications right click install mac os catalina and select show package contents now open content folder then open the resources folder now drag create install media to terminal in a terminal type dash dash volume then hit space now drag untitled volume to terminal then type dash dash no interaction then hit enter enter your mac admin account password then hit enter now the Mac OS Catalina bootable creation process is running and wait for the process to finish. The process of creating Mac OS Ventura bootable has finished, and as you can see, the untitled partition has been renamed to install Mac OS Ventura. Now restart Mac to boot install Mac OS Ventura. Once the Mabook screen turns grey, press the option key to bring up the boot options. In the boot options that appear select install Mac OS Catalina and then hit enter. Wait for the Mac OS Catalina loading process to finish. Now click on Disk Utility. Then click Continue. In the Disk Utility window click the View menu then select Show All Devices. First we need to erase Disk 1S5 volume. In the left pane click Disk 1S5. Then, in the right pane, click Erase. For the name and format column leave it as default. Then click Erase. Wait for the erase process to finish. The process of erasing the disk 1s5 volume is complete then click done. Now in left pane click on container disk 1. Then in the right pane click erase. In the name field, type Macintosh HD. and on format select APFS then click erase wait for the erase process to finish the process of erasing the disk 1 container is complete then click done now close disk utility now we have returned to the Mac OS utilities window then click install Mac OS then click continue Here click continue. Here in the license agreement click agree. Then click agree again. Now select Macintosh HD. Then click install. 
wait for the Mac OS Catalina installation process to complete. The Mac OS Catalina installation process is complete. Now configure Mac OS Catalina according to your Mac configuration. Now we have successfully downgraded Mac OS Ventura to Mac OS Catalina without using a bootable USB. Now we need to delete the partition used for bootable Mac OS Catalina. Open Disk Utility. In the Disk Utility window click the View menu then select Show All Devices. In the left pane click on SSD Mayabook. And in the right pane click Partition. In the circle click on the white part or install Mac OS Catalina. Now the install Mac OS Catalina section turns blue. Then click the minus icon. Click the apply button to apply the changes that have been made. Then click Partition. Wait for the partition process to finish. The partition process is complete then click the done button, now close disk utility. On the top menu click finder then select preferences. Now click tick on hard disk to show hard disk icon on desktop. As you can see, on the desktop only the Macintosh HD icon appears. So the install Mac OS Catalina partition has been successfully removed. We can also check by looking at the Mayabook boot options. To do that we need to restart the Mayabook. Once the Mayabook screen turns grey, press the option key to bring up the boot options. As you can see the install Mac OS Catalina option has disappeared. And also you can see that the EFI boot option still appears. To remove this EFI boot option, you'll need to log in to Mac OS again. Now enter your Mac account password. To remove the EFI boot option we need to open terminal. In the terminal type the following command. This command will work if there is only one SSD in the Mayabook. And also no USB flash drive or USB hard drive plugged into the Mayabook's USB port. So if your Mayabook still has a USB flash drive or USB hard drive plugged into the Mayabook USB, unplug it immediately. Then hit enter. Now enter your Mac admin account password. Then hit enter. As you can see the EFI partition icon appears on the desktop. Now close terminal. Now open the EFI partition. To remove the EFI boot option in the boot options, delete all files and folders in the EFI partition.
Now restart the Mabook to check the results of deleting the contents of the EFI partition. Once the Mabook screen turns grey, press the option key to bring up the boot options. As you can see the EFI boot option is no longer showing in the Mabook boot options. Ok, that's how to downgrade Mac OS Ventura to Mac OS Catalina without using a USB flash drive or USB hard drive. If this video is useful, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions just comment down below. See you in the next video.